Britt Smith reveals her original recording of JoJo Siwa's popular track, Karma, from 2012, in an exclusive interview with Page Six. Smith, who could soon become a viral sensation on TikTok, shares that the song was intended to be her debut single. She explains that she initially recorded Karma with Rock Mafia, a song originally written with Miley Cyrus in mind, but Cyrus passed on it. Smith embraced the opportunity to record the track, which she preferred over another song titled Provocative that the label later chose as her first single. Despite her attachment to Karma, it remained unreleased until recently gaining attention on platforms like TikTok and YouTube. During the interview, Smith describes how she collaborated with the producer Timbaland, who produced the track after they discussed working together. This collaboration included a music video, heavily reliant on post-production, which depicted various illustrated backgrounds, including a church. However, her label's decision to prioritize Provocative as her debut single led to Karma being sidelined. Smith also reflects on the songwriting process, noting that while the song was pre-written by Rock Mafia, her rendition was well-received and she had hoped it would be her introductory piece to the music world. Fans have expressed that Smith's version of Karma surpasses Jojo Siwa's cover, a sentiment that Smith finds flattering and a testament to the song's enduring appeal. Asked about Siwa's version of the song, Smith acknowledges the value in hearing different interpretations and appreciates the new life her version has received through current media exposure. Despite having stepped away from the music industry to work at Color Wow Hair Company, Smith feels reinvigorated by the recent interest in karma and the positive feedback. She contemplates returning to music, motivated by fans encouraging her to release more songs. In closing, Smith mentions that Jojo Siwa has not yet commented on the song's history or Smith's version, an aspect of the story she finds intriguing. The interview concludes with Smith expressing cautious optimism about possibly resuming her music career encouraged by the unexpected resurgence of karma and the public's response.